I'm gonna start my video, but I also wanna finish my coffee. Welcome back to my channel guys and for those of you who are new here, welcome welcome. My name is Etty and I upload home decor and DIY content here on YouTube. If that's what you're into, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so that you'll get notified whenever I upload new content. For those of you who keep coming back to watch my videos but still haven't subscribed, just subscribe. Trust me, it'll make your life easier. For today's video, I thought I would do another take on the coffee table tray. So many of you absolutely loved my video for the DIY coffee table tray that I made with this little artist canvas. And so I thought I would show you another take on that based off of this one that I saw from West Elm. So this canvas cost me $4 at the dollar store. So I got the large canvas. It is 12 by 16. I also got this dowel here from the hardware store. It's a three quarter inch dowel, which I thought would be really nice for the handles. I could have totally used the dowels that they sell at the dollar store. They sell these ones, which are, I don't know, probably like a quarter inch, you know, which would totally be usable for this coffee table tray, but I wanted the handles to look a little bit more substantial, like the ones that they had on the West Elm tray okay so here's what the tray looks like straight out of the wrapping from the dollar store it's pretty smooth but just in case I'm gonna sand it with some 240 grit sandpaper you can use any high grit sandpaper to do this just to give it that extra smooth finish before we paint it And then I'm just going to wipe it down with a damp towel to remove all the dust and I'm going to be using some acrylic paint to paint the whole thing white. semi-gloss spray paint um, if I had regular white semi-gloss spray paint it would save a step for me but just using what I have here so this is just gonna be a coat on top of the white paint so that it gives it a little bit of a nice sheen okay so I'm gonna measure out five inches and cut each of the dowels to five inches long and those are gonna be the handles for this coffee table tray I'm just gonna use this miter box and saw. You can definitely use a miter saw if you have one. I just didn't feel like taking out the big miter saw. But David is actually gonna go buy me a cute little seven inch miter saw. So if I'm patient, I could probably just wait for that. But I'm not so patient. So I'm just gonna use the miter box. two dowels cut for the handles here um, with the miter box the cuts end up being a little bit rough so I'm just going to sand them down with a bit of sandpaper here I'm just using the same sandpaper that I had before I'm not quite too sure if I want to stain them or not. I think it looks really nice as is, but I feel like it would look nice stained also. I don't know, it's such a dilemma. Maybe I'll do like a light, like one coat of stain. 
Let me try it out on a little piece that I cut and then I'll decide. After testing it out, I decided to go with no stain. And then I'm just marking the center of the dowels as well as the center of the tray so I can align them together. Alright, so I've got my tray here and all I did was put a little bit of glue um, here, tape it together, and I made sure to align my center mark on the dowel with the center mark on the tray. That way everything is perfectly centered. And then I secured the dowel in place with some tape. So the tape is holding the glue together. Same thing on the other side. And last step is I'm just going to take this little nail gun and I'm going to nail the dowels to the actual uh, coffee table tray. You probably don't need a nail gun. You could probably do it with like a hammer and finishing nails. So the thing about nail guns is that the nail doesn't always come out fully, fully straight. So you want to make sure not to keep your hands too close to where you're actually nailing. This little line over here, I don't know if you can see that on camera. The nail can sometimes veer right or left from that line. So you just want to make sure that your hands are not in the line of fire. I'm just going to hold this here. Make sure it's 90 degrees. And then it's a little hard because like it's not the steadiest piece. And then I'm going to push down and then push on the button here. There we go. Good. I think one on each side is probably enough. Okay, so dowels are nailed in, which means I've got my handles. Only thing is, on the last nail that I put in, uh, you can see here, I guess I didn't push down exactly hard enough. So you can see this is kind of sticking out just a little bit, whereas the other ones, this is indented. Um, so I can easily fill that up with wood filler. But for this one, I can just take this little... Um, I don't even know what it's called, but basically it's to push like nails for moldings more in so that you can do exactly that, fill them up. So basically I'm just going to take this, put it right over the nail with a little hammer, and then... So now I actually have a hole which I can fill so that'll be a lot easier for me to cover up. I think I can take the tape off now because the nails are holding it in place. So let's do that. Here we've got the little tray here. I have some wood filler and I'm going to use that to fill in the little holes that the nail gun created. Just take some sandpaper and sand away the excess wood filler. And the last thing that I want to do is just clean off the markings that I had for the center of the dowel and the center of the tray, and then we're done. And there you have it, an understated but equally beautiful coffee table tray that's going to elevate the look of any coffee table. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have so many other amazing videos on my channel, so just make sure to go and check those out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button so you get notified whenever I upload new content. See you next time.